Hey guys, welcome once again for the RYM online service. We are so glad we can connect with you one more week. Uh, and today we believe that God is going to touch your life. We believe that someone out there needs to hear this word and needs to join with us in praising and worshiping God. One thing we strongly believe is God is not limited to what we are limited by. God is not restricted to what we are restricted by. He is everywhere, anywhere, any time. All you need to do is call upon him and he will come and deliver you. So let's pray and commit this service into the hands of God and let's believe for nothing but a great encounter with our almighty God. Father, we commit this time into your hands. We thank you for the privilege of Lord being able to connect with your people, being able to share a word of hope with those out there. We thank you for the life that you have called us to live. We thank you for the protection, the security, Lord, the grace, the favor, the provision, all that you have done. We just give you all the glory. And Father, we pray that this time will be blessed with your presence and your anointing and your spirit that will minister to each and every one of us. We pray, those who are listening now and those who will watch later on, Lord, we just pray that you will bless them with your presence, Lord. <laughs> fill our hearts, fill our lives with your love, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Jesus, 
Because your word says, through the Son of Man has set free, is free indeed. Oh, we believe in that today, Jesus. Thank you for your freedom, Lord. If any one of us are struggling today, the answer is not to your left, it is not to your right, it is up there with Jesus. So just look up to him and call on his name. The word of God says, if the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. So let's sing and declare that today. There is freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Who the Son sets free, oh, is free. child of God, yes I am, in my Father's house, there's a place for me, I'm a child of God, yes I am. Chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me. Against me, I am who you say I am. Who the sun sets free, always oh, free in thee. I'm a child of God, yes, I am. In my Father's house. There's a place for me, I'm a child of God, yes I am. Thank you Lord, we bless your name, we bless your name, for there is freedom in your name. Lord, those who have called on your name have never gone Lord, disappointed, they have never gone away discouraged, but those who call on your name were saved. Those who call on your name were delivered, O oh Lord Jesus, and we give you the glory and the honor, Lord, for that is who you are. That is what you do. That is what you do, Lord, for those who call on your name. Who the Son sets free Free I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Can you sing this with us? In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Father, we come before you, Lord. Open our hearts, open our ears, our eyes to hear, see, Lord, and to know that you are here with us. As we listen to your word today, Lord, we pray that it will speak, minister, and bring deliverance into our lives today, Father. It will break every chain that is holding us back. It will heal us from every sickness. It will deliver us from every burden, O oh Father. And it will set us free from any bondage that we are in, O oh Father. Because that is what you do. And that is who you are. We praise your name. We praise your name. We are into the second week of coming out of curfew and uh, people are slowly beginning to get back into their normal lives. I know there are a few restrictions still, but we are still able to go out, 
much before than we were able to before so i hope everyone is keeping safe and doing well uh, we would like to hear from you how you are doing uh, if anyone needs to talk or if you need any help please do get in touch with us by dropping us a message on facebook or on instagram or contacting any one of our leaders on whatsapp uh, we would love to pray with you and encourage you through this season see the world is going through a tough time when we think that uh one thing is ending another starts when we think we are just getting through a tough time something even harder comes our way and the crazy thing is we are not facing it alone but we are facing it as the world itself we are facing it as a whole and sometimes we realize through all of this that none of us can hide any more from the realities of this world none of us can hide any more from the lack that we face our nation was facing a tough time and even for many families to find a, a meal to eat sometimes was very hard for some families to find peace it was very hard for some people to find hope through these tough times is very hard but i'm telling you today and i know very well that none of us can be exempt from what the world is going through because we live in this very world and what is coming after it is after all of us but i want to share a secret with you about what we have in us or who we have in us or the power that we carry to bring into existence of something that is lacking or something that is not present i want you to turn your bibles with me to john chapter 1 verses 1 onwards it is the book of john is one of my favorite books i am sure many of you out there know what i'm talking about the character of jesus and and the stories that are written in it it's so amazing it changes your perspective of jesus and i want to take you back to where it all started because john chapter 1 verses 1 goes like this it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god to make it very clear the word that is being referred to here is jesus right so if i say it in this way in the beginning was jesus and jesus was with god and jesus was god he was with god in the beginning and through him all things were made without him nothing has been made that has been made in him was life and this life was the light of all people this light shines in the darkness and darkness has not overcome it before i even start to share can someone say amen to that it says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it see when when we think of creation and when we can try to put a picture together as to how it was when god the son god or god the father god the son and god the holy spirit were talking among themselves about creating us i i wonder how it was or i wonder how that conversation went and you know we can get lost in all the questions that we have or all the arguments that we can bring to the table especially when we see the world going through so much we can even ask the question why did god create us or what was the purpose or why did god have to put us through all of this see i can get lost in all the questions or i can get lost in in the confusion that i feel when i try to answer those questions or i can be at peace knowing that the one who created the world created the trees or created the sun moon the stars created the animals that walk on this earth is the same creator god that is willing to live inside of me and reveal purpose reveal identity reveal destiny to me see today i choose not to get lost in all the questions that i have about creation or god or why all of this is going on but i choose to be at peace knowing that the creator god is willing to live inside of me today i'm talking about the ability to bring into existence or i'm talking about 
the ability to create today but first i want you to understand where does this come from in the beginning was the word that is jesus and jesus was with god and jesus was god in him and through him all things have been made when it is made through him there is a imprint of him that we carry or that creation carries when we walk this earth because it was through him that we were made that includes people who know him people who do not know him that includes the the creatures of this earth that includes everything that in him and through him by his word all things were made and today when we look at the world everything is falling apart so although i tell this to you do not be discouraged but the reality is the world is falling apart people are trying to find answers to questions that go beyond the human understanding or our ability to comprehend how this came into being but the reality is every man and woman every creature on this earth every man that walks this earth is seeking answers to fill a void that lies in us and none of us are exempt from it we think that people are fighting over over wealth people are fighting over money or land or people are li- fighting over nations we think that it is all because of power greed and everything that it creates in us but the reality is man itself as an individual is looking to fill a void that lies deep within every human being only some dare to ask the question how am i going to fill this void but some of us are running around trying to fill it with everything that we find it's not a surprise that people get into fights it is not a surprise that people get discouraged it is not a surprise that right now people are fighting over which life matters it is not a surprise that people are trying to fight for survival it is not a surprise that people are trying to fight for their very selves and trying to prove that their life matters it is not a surprise that the world has come to this because the creation is trying to find the answers without knowing or identifying who the creator is there is purpose that is revealed just in knowing christ why do i say that because when we know we were created by god when we know that our creator is god the confusion stops we will still find out, we will still be looking for answers but the confusion stops because when your heart is ready to accept that the creator god who created heaven and earth and the sun moon the stars and all of us is your very creator you open your heart to the endless possibilities or oh, you open your heart to the mysteries of god that he is willing to reveal to you it is not a strange thing that you feel the void that i feel it is not a strange thing that you are trying to fill the void that i was trying to fill it is not a strange thing because you and i were created by and through jesus christ just to have relationship with him and many of us are trying to run around finding answers how we are going to fill this void but we are not asking the right questions today i am daring you to ask the right questions i'm coming back to my topic it is about bringing things into existence first i want you to understand who brought you and i into existence it was god in his purpose in his divine purpose has brought you and i into existence if by the word of god that is jesus christ that if by that word we were created i believe that if you and i have jesus in ourselves we have the ability to create something that is not already there in the book of john chapter 15 
Jesus says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask of anything from my Father and he will give it to you. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, that means if we go deep into the word and have a sincere desire to know Jesus, he's saying, if you come to me with that desire and if you remain in me and what you read about me and what you try to understand about me and if me, my very self, abides in you or lives in you, You can ask for whatever from the Father and He will give it to you. I believe there is something in this verse that we always tend to miss. We get caught up with the word whatever and we start asking for everything on this earth. But I believe there is a reason why Jesus said, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, the word of God brings direction over our lives. The word of God brings instruction because the word of God says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God brings direction. And when there is direction, you and I don't tend to go everywhere our head turns. But we tend to follow the direction that has been given. And who better to instruct and direct your life and my life than the creator himself? By His power to create, He created you and me. By His power to bring into existence, He brought you and I into existence. But it was not a historical event. That same power is the power that lives in you and in me when we accept Jesus into our lives. And right now, the world is missing a few fundamental elements for us to go where we have to go. And these things are peace, hope, love, purpose, destiny. The world is missing these fundamental elements in order to move on from where we are stuck at at the moment. We are trying to figure out whose life matters over whose. We are trying to figure out why does my life not matter more than my friend's. We are trying to figure out how am I going to have a better life than my friend. I am trying to figure out how am I going to make it and how am I going to live the best life. Forgetting about my neighbor, forgetting about my friend. The sole purpose as to why you and I were created was relationship. It was relationship with the creator. It was relationship with one another. But we have started to look so deep within ourselves. We are stuck with just ourselves at this point. The world is lacking peace. The world is lacking hope. The world is lacking love. It is lacking purpose. It is lacking joy right now. If you turn on the news, it won't take that long for you to get discouraged with your life. Trust me. But I want to tell you the same power that brought the heavens and the earth into existence is the same power that lives in you. Let's read that again. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The handful of people who know this secret are keeping quiet. I want to challenge you today. You may not be a very vocal person. You may not be the one who goes and stands in front of crowds and shouts at everyone and, you know, gives an awesome speech and everyone applauds. You may not be that person. But you are the person who was created to hold or to carry or to be the vessel that carries the creator God in you. And it says, in him and through him all things were made. And today, as my topic is bringing into existence, I want to challenge you to bring something into existence. What am I talking about? I want you to look beyond yourself at this point. I think we have been, those who are watching might be old enough, you know, to... to 
uh, hear what I'm saying or to understand what I'm saying when I say that we might have been spending enough time in our lives just looking at ourselves or just being centered around ourselves. But I want you to open your eyes because the world is hurting. I want you to open your eyes because there is a need. The world has lost hope. It has lost peace. It has lost love. People have lost purpose. And it is very tough to see where we are going, our destiny. There may be some of you out there who are hearing this and wondering, okay, I I can't manage or I can't afford to look at the people around me because I myself do not have these things in me. Wake up. In him and through him all things were made. I believe if if our God was able to put the stars, the sun, moon and all of it into place, I believe he can create or he can bring into existence these key elements that are needed for us to be happy with our lives are we forgetting that this god who created heaven and earth and all the creatures that roam around it and our very selves this same god is the god that lives inside of us and do you think it is possible for him to bring peace into your life I'm talking to those who have lost it. Because if you don't see it in your heart, if you don't see it in your life, that is why you need to hear this because there is power to bring into existence through Jesus Christ. What have you lost? Or what are you missing? Is it peace? Is it hope? Do do you not see a future for yourself? Do you not see hope in tomorrow? Or do you not even see hope for today? I want to challenge you pray and bring it into existence. The word of God says Jesus said in this world you will have trouble but take heart for I have overcome the world. Jesus said peace I leave with you my peace I leave with you and this is not as the world gives. And the word of God says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life in him and through him into existence Those of you who have lost one of these key things that I just mentioned I'm not going to talk about cars houses wealth finances all of this we will attain for ourselves if we have these five things figured out that is hope that is peace that is love purpose and destiny if we have these things figured out everything else will fall into line but anyone out there who has lost at least one of this i'm telling you i'm reminding you the word of god says in him and through him all things have been made there is power to bring into existence what was once lost first thing i want you to do if if you are missing out on this i want you to pray for yourselves and bring it into existence into your life we will pray with you in a while but what i want to do together is this world is definitely missing these five elements and remember the last line says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it bad things don't have authority or power to put you down i want to repeat myself bad things and darkness does not have the power to put you down your disability to understand the power that you have living inside of you is the only thing that can put you down and i believe that today i'm here to remind you of that that in him and through him all things were made this word being jesus was the light and this light shines in the darkness and darkness has not overcome it so darkness and bad cannot overcome you and i 
but if we keep our mouth shut and if we just refrain from bringing into existence what the enemy is taking away at some point we will drain out so today i want to challenge you everyone hearing out there i want to challenge you let's get together today right now and pray for this world pray for the world that we are living in it's losing hope it's losing love it's losing joy peace purpose and destiny it is losing out on all of this but i believe if the church cries out i believe if the children of god who who abide in him and allow his word to abide in them cry out i believe we will bring it into existence let's be specific let's pray for the countries that are suffering let's pray for our very country that is going through so much uh, trials at this time economically or socially anything that we can think of let's pray because you and i have the power to bring into existence what the enemy is trying to take away or what he has already taken away let's sing that song majesty one more time let's declare that in him and through him that authority that power to bring into existence and that that very sovereign nature and power of god is the same thing that is living in us i'm calling you out today if you know of one of these five things i'm going to repeat it that is hope peace love purpose and destiny if you have lost any one of these i want to remind you today that god is there and in him and through him all things were made and if you have lost this if the enemy has taken this from you definitely has taken it from the world but if he has taken it from you bring it into existence thank you lord majesty worship his majesty and to jesus be all glory honor and praise everyone lift your hands and sing with us so much pain as of never before we know although we are suffering as of never before lord we are facing things that we have never faced before as we are going through this we still know and believe and are confident that god you are going to produce a great harvest through this all you are the god who restores you are the god who creates you are the god who brings into existence things that were not there or lost oh lord father we pray for everyone who has heard your word today 
going to lord as we read your word one more time it says through him all things were made without him nothing was made that has been made in him was life and that life was the light of all people the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it father we thank you for that word lord i pray for those who are missing out on hope peace love purpose and destiny today i pray lord that if the enemy has stolen it or taken it from anyone we pray it into existence now if anyone is discouraged we pray joy right now bring it into existence oh lord in their hearts if anyone lord is sick we pray that you will lord bring healing into their lives father we pray lord we do not know who is watching but you know and we just lift every heart that is open to you this day who is listening and who is crying out lord for one of these elements we pray right now peace hope love purpose destiny lord be their share today and lord together we come before you and cry out for this world every country that we know is suffering every country that we may not even know that is suffering and our very own land we just pray lord for peace we pray for peace across the world lord no matter how strong the darkness can be when the light shines the darkness has not or will not or will ever not overcome it oh lord jesus So we pray for peace across the land. We pray for peace across the world. No matter how Lord it may be how bad it may be we still pray peace into existence. We pray for those who are hopeless. Those who are running out of hope on a daily basis. We pray that hope will be their share. We pray it into existence. in you and through you there is hope we pray for love those who are not feeling love today we pray that the love of god the unconditional love of the father the love that you said that i have loved with an everlasting love that love we pray into the heart of every person that is listening every man and woman across the world lord we pray the love of god be poured out We pray for those struggling with purpose and destiny knowing why they were created knowing why we were we are suffering so much knowing why we have to go through all of this we pray for those who are asking these questions about father bring purpose into their lives We pray for those who are looking at destiny and asking the many questions we pray that through you and in you they will see destiny lord in you and through you they will see destiny today we pray that the world will start to heal as we agree your word says if two of you agree on earth it will be done in heaven so if we agree as we agree right now lord we pray that there will be a healing that will begin in this world we agree there will be healing that will begin across this world today all of this we find or all of this we ask in the mighty name of jesus for those of you who are who know that you have this void who know that you are created with a purpose but you just can't figure it out I'm telling you today that we find it in and through Jesus. If you have not accepted Jesus into your life or if you have not given your heart to Jesus, I want to challenge you today. This can be the most or this is the most decisive thing you will ever do. The weight upon this decision is what can change your destiny. In him and through him. So I want to invite you to just bow your heads with me if anyone is saying that you want to give your life to Jesus just repeat this prayer after me and say father I have sinned 
I have made many mistakes in my life. But I come before you today knowing that I was created with purpose. And Lord, I am done asking people questions. And I'm asking you to come into my life. I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that you rose again on the third day. I believe that this sacrifice you made has cleansed my life of all my sin. I believe I'm a new creation today. I give my heart to you. I give my life to you. Take it and make it yours. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. God bless you everyone. We hope you have an amazing week ahead. We would love to hear from you any prayer needs, any testimonies or any thoughts that you have. Please feel free to message us on Facebook or Instagram. God bless you all. See you next week.